So this is your power talk. I want you to make a decision today that you are going to invest in yourself to make the transformations that you desire and deserve. You see, many people in the world will just give up on their dreams and they'll just begin to accept that their past equals their future. But I want you to know something different. I want you to understand that the past has only led you to this point and it does not mean it has to be your future either. You see, the decisions you make today will dictate where you're heading in your life. And the reasons of the past, the reasons as to why we are like we are, the anxieties, the worries, the doubts, the fears, all the limiting beliefs we have are only a collection and have been ingrained due to our past. But you do not have to allow your past to be your future. What you have to do, just like in the past at an unconscious level, you have to make a decision that you are going to accept nothing less than what you want out of life. Rather being a product of life, you allow life to be something that you choose to create, that you begin to conspire in your own favor. You see, no one else is going to conspire in your favor until you begin to do so on your own behalf. You see, your mind is incredibly powerful. You have such power that you can begin to manifest and create the type of transformation that you want in your life. But it all starts with you. You are that instigator. You are the decider that if something's going wrong right now, that you can make a stand for what is right, and what is right, what is right is what you really want. You see, many people have that, why am I like this? Why does this always happen? And that just always gets you to think of all the reasons why you are like you are, or everything else about the past. You have to change the way that you think. You have to consider how you want to be different. You see, when you go there in your mind and you just consider how you would like to be, your brain begins to look to how to get there as quickly as possible. The time that you spend on yourself is critical. It doesn't mean we have to get obsessive or be so focused on our thoughts and our feelings, but what you do have to do is take that decision for there's something more out there for you to experience. There is more life, there is more love, there is more living that is something that can allow you to experience more. You have to accept that you are potentiality, that you have the ability to make decisions in any moment. And when you make that decision, you will find that your life begins to transform. It begins to go, I'm gonna take responsibility and take ownership over my life and to refuse to be a product of the past. When you train up your mind to be focused on what it, what it, what it, what you really want in life, it will go ahead and look for it. I always say that your conscious thoughts are your goal setter, so the things that you're setting up, and your unconscious mind is going to be the, the thought or the goal getter. Now, if your thoughts are right now are consciously considering all the things that you don't want, you know that life and the unconscious mind will begin to look for all the things you don't want. Sounds simple, but it is simple. You have to begin to retrain how your mind works. It might be tricky in the beginning because it takes time. You've been programmed for so long by society, by friends, by the past, all the past experiences. But when you start to make these subtle changes now, you will begin to notice there is far more beauty inside of you and far more beauty in the world which will allow you to experience more of it. But you have to put your attention to what is right and what is good. And you are good on the inside. You see, whatever you're experiencing right now, where it be worries, where it be doubts, where it be anxiety, fears, phobias, um, eating disorders, whatever it is, it is not who you are. You are not an eating disorder, you are not anxiety, you are not depression, you are not low self-esteem. And if you're not that, what is it? It's simply a strategy, okay? It's a strategy that you've been doing for so long that makes it be perceived as to who you are. If you do anything consistently over a period of time, it will feel like that is what you are. 
That is why athletes think they're athletes because they've been doing athletic behaviors and strategies for so long. They think that is what they are. But that is not who they are, it's just they've learned to begin to adopt that strategy which makes them feel like that is who they are. But what are we really? We are so capable of making changes in our life. And if we realize that whatever we're going through right now is simply a strategy that we're repeating on and on and on, on in this loop based on certain external triggers, we have the opportunity <clears throat> to be conscious of that. Now, when you become the watcher of your strategy, the watcher of the behavior of anxiety, the watcher of the behavior of low self-esteem, you have the ability to dictate how that actually works. You can interrupt that pattern. You see, when you become consciously aware of your strategies, you can then begin to dictate them on your behalf. That is all we have to do. We have to begin to consciously consider what is really happening here. What is triggering me to experience what I'm presently experiencing in my reality? Because it's all subjective. You may be going through one event and that triggers you, but for someone else, it won't trigger them. They will begin to see maybe confidence in that situation or feel a certain set of empowerment feelings. So we have to begin to consider what are we really doing? What are the thoughts that we're having? What is the feelings that we're having? What is the behavior we're having? Which in turn is the strategy to something external. Now, once you become more conscious of it, you can start to interrupt the pattern. The very nature of knowing that this is simply a behavior, and I'm very strong on that, because I know that might be pushing up against your belief system. So, no, Joseph, I am depression. No, you're not. That is not all who you are. That is just a behavior that you're running. Once you really understand that and realize that you are so much more, that you have so much more potentiality, you will begin to take ownership over that strategy. You will begin to own that behavior. And as you take ownership over it, you'll begin to dictate how it actually works. So if you're going to do one thing in your life, become conscious of what is really happening inside of you. Don't allow it to be just an unconscious habit, allowing you to be perceiving it to be who you are. That is not who you are. So become conscious of it, conscious of it and really consider how you would like to be different. When you direct your mind and you become conscious of this strategy, and then consider the contrary to that. So rather anxiety, you focus on calmness. Well, rather than worry or anxiety, you focus on how you want to be. Imagine the successful completion of how you want to be, and that will begin to get your unconscious mind, your brain, to begin to look for that strategy. If you go, why am I like this? Your brain is so intelligent and it'll look for every reason in the past as to why you are like that and that becomes your identity. But when you ask and become conscious and go, how can I be different? You then begin to teach your mind and body to focus on how to be different. It is simply a communication that you're changing. You're changing your relationship to the issue. You are not your issue, it is a behavior you're running. Become conscious of that, consider it, and then begin to ask yourself, how would I like to be different? That is taking life on, on your terms. When you wake up to that fact, it will at the very least give you more control over it. Then over time, you will start to see your own power because you are powerful. If you have such a strong will at an unconscious level to run this, your unconscious mind sure has a will to do the opposite too. You just have to begin to change the tide of that and allow your mind to just consider how you want to be different, how would you like to be, and begin to realize that this is not who you are. You are powerful, you are strong, you are loved, you are worthy, you are good enough, you are capable. So realize it and act upon it with inspired action. When you act upon it in that way, you will begin to notice transformations each and every day. Subtle at first, but getting bigger and bigger, as guess what? That becomes the new strategy. That becomes the new habit. And then you begin to experience more emotional freedom than ever before. Now, 
With that in mind, if you want to get access to my seven day kickstart transformation video course, and it's in audio form as well, but if you want to get access to that, which is every day for seven days, so really listen to it every seven days if you want to make the real big leap in your emotional freedom and happiness, but you listened and watched one of the videos or audios, they're only like 15 or so minutes long, and you just begin to get, once again, that consistency in making transformations. I will give you the building blocks, the step-by-step -step strategies that you apply that day, and then the next day you listen to another 15 minutes to the next video, and then you'll start to see the most amazing changes. If you wanna get instant access to that completely for free, go to www.josephclough.info slash claim. So that's C-L-A-I-M, josephclough.info slash claim you will get instant access to the seven day kickstart transformation. Be aware that this will be a paid product in the future. It is that transformation. If you go to that link, you'll see people just raving about it. But I want you to have it because I want you to change. In return, maybe go ahead and subscribe to this channel, share this video. That means other people will be able to get value from this. If you listen to the podcast or the app, go ahead and leave a review on the podcast. That is vitally important. And also go ahead and do so on the app as well. It just means people get more information, more strategies of how they too can live a life of emotional freedom. It's all within us and it's our obligation to help as many people as possible. And for you, it's easy. It's simply reviewing, liking, and sharing. I'll speak to you soon. Many thanks and goodbye.